It's down. It's down. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I got a single I just done with this dude. He's from L.A. His name is Junior. You know, he got songs with Tyrese and all them. It's an R&B song for the ladies called When It Comes To You. That's okay. going to be my, like, official single. That's I'm going to come back here in two weeks and bring that to y'all, too, so y'all hey, can have it. Right. Yeah. What's up? Wow. So, I mean, how was it working with 2 Chainz? Oh, yeah, you know. How we done the song? We done the song via email or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when it was time to come together and shoot the video, you know, the chemistry, everything was there. You know, we was doing a lot of smoking and, you know, just vibing out. The ladies was there, a lot of money around. It was crazy, you know. Sweet. Cooking all the money. That's what it is. Shot time standing up here. Yeah. Speaking of shot time, how do you feel about the state of music in our city? Oh, well, all I can say is, man, I'm, I can salute everybody, you know. We ain't had a look on this now, we got it. Whether it's negative or positive, you know, so we can just roll with the punches, you know, and just, man, just all make it happen and everybody be happy on this situation that we got, you know. Roll with the punches or the gunshots, either one. As long as it's making money too at the end of the day, so, you know. So, um, what was your uh, inspiration behind uh, Now I Shine song? Oh, the Now I Shine song? Yeah. Oh, you know, just. Man, just sitting down, man. You know my mother passed, so Sorry, you know, I just wanted to, you know, make a song that can reach all type of levels instead of just talking about drugs and you know liquor and all that, you know. So just come with something on a positive note too, just to let the fans know I can do everything. Coincidentally, you are drinking liquor right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just no good. I'm like, damn, I had some. I had some last night. Yeah, that's for sure. I had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with last night again. <laughs> so, oh, okay. oh, okay. Do you think the business side of the music industry kills some artist creativity? Um, I wouldn't really say that, you know, because you shouldn't sign a contract if you don't have creative control of your situation, no way. So, you know, with, with all that going on, it's just all on the artist, you know, right. and what they choose to do. Like, if you let a label mess over you, that's what they're going to do. If you sit back and don't let them put, you got to push yourself at the end of the day, you know. Right, right. So sure. That's how it goes. So it's all on the artist. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what do, you, what do you feel makes a true MC? Makes a true MC? Yeah. Dope lyrics, swag, image. You got out a whole total package now, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what makes a dope MC to me. You know, because I watched the MC lights like Jay-Z in the beginning, like all, you know, I watched hip-hop, so, you know, that's why I try to bring everything to the table with the R&B writing, you know, like the looks, you know, every time I come through, you know, I'm fresh, how to carry on, you know, that's, that's what I do, I like to do that, you know, and that's what you got to do in this game, right? Here. 
That's true. Yeah. That's what's up. So how has hip hop impacted your life overall? Uh, well, I started when I was 24, mm -hmm. you know, so I haven't been really doing it really too long, you know, like two, three years, you know, so I just was blessed with the gift to do it, you know. And like I told you, I was watching, you know, hip-hop as I was coming up, so it reflected on me and, you know, just, just got talented and blessed. So who or what actually inspired you to get into hip-hop? Um, well, some friends of mine, like Cap One, Shauna, Youngberg, you know. I met them and they took me on. First time I went on the show with Cap, mm -hmm. and I seen the vibe and everything was going on. I was like, man, I can do the same thing, you know. And then Bird came back from Cali one time, and I spit for him. And he was like, man, I'm gonna take you to the studio. From there, I've been a rap. Mm -hmm. and just, so we, just mastered my craft. Mm -hmm. We also tuned out that you did the 100 Bottles song with him. Yeah, that's like a hundred bottles. Yeah, we shot that video here too. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the beautiful skyline shots we all got up on that. That's what's up. Yeah, like that's on the Chicago Redemption mixtape we dropped. Nice. Like he came back here and done um, a gang of songs with a lot of shot town local artists, like to bring some awareness towards them too. So mm -hmm. shout out to him for that. You know. Okay. Yeah. So who are some of the artists that you're rocking with right now that you have mad respect for? I mean, locally or? If you're from Chi Town, I got mad respect for you, period. And you making noise and you bringing the awareness and the look here, I salute you. I'm rocking with you, period. You know, no big eyes, no little yous, you know, you know, I don't sugarcoat nothing. I'm rocking with everybody that's doing their thing in the city. All right, all right. We're going to put you in the hot seat. You ready? Let's go. All right, I'm going <laughs> to name, name two things. You got to pick one or the other, but you got to do it quick. Okay. So you ready? Let's go. All right. Harold's or Uncle Remus? Harold. Big or Pop? Pop. Chicago Peace or Chicago Hot Dog? Chicago Peace. The Factory or Arnie's? The Factory. Do or Die Cruise Conflict? Do or Die. Power 92 WGCI? WGCI. Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. That's the hot CJ. They stop. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, man. Shout out to 92.3, even though y'all gave me more spins on cooking than GCI did. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> so, I mean, are you working on anything right now? What's, what's I mean, on your schedule? What's lined up for the next couple of weeks or months? What's going on? Well, actually, when I leave here, I'm going to shoot a video for Best Believe Me. And then at 8 o'clock, I got another interview with Windy City Underground, an interview with them. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the factory. And, Get it in with your guy tonight. Alright, that's what's up. I'm to you there. I may be there. Oh, yeah, come through. You know, the bottle's going to be where I'm at. You know that. Right. Yeah. Celebrating with B-Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. It's Sunday, which is tomorrow, I'm going to do the interview with Shanika Speaks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do that with her. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, I'm going to be back on Windy City Underground with J.R. Bang on the morning show. Mm -hmm. Then Wednesday, I got a six-hour studio session downtown. You know, so I'm just working. Yeah, I'm working, working, man. man. <laughs> grinding. <laughs> Let me ask you a question though. Yeah. Do you feel like it's it's better to to to, to leave Chicago to, to to gain your foothold in the business or stay here and build it? I say do both. You know, keep it level because right. people will get kind of offended when you try to leave and then try to come back now that it's popping. Agreed. So just work both of the cities. Yeah, like, you I know mean, what yeah. I'm you can't. I mean, because there's only so much you can do here. And you, you know, you're spinning a hamster wheel after a while, so you got to branch out, but. You know, I just I was just curious about your take on that because so many people be like, oh, you got to get out of here to do that. You got to get, and I don't really see it that way because Chicago's a tough ass city to please. And I feel like mm -hmm. if you if you can get the city behind you, you can get anybody else behind you at that point. So I just want. Yeah, let me tell you something else that. too. Like all the time I've been grinding here. Like, I went to New York and Cali, like, things happen so fast out there. Yeah, because they, they got all, the structure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a music market. You Absolutely. Know, it's a place for it. You know? Absolutely. So, Chicago is to just get everybody in tune with you to build that move. name. Yeah, so once shit, you really rocking. get up there, they be like, man, I don't know him. And you know how we get Right, to. right. Yeah, no, that's, that's, <laughs> you know. that's one thing about Chicago. Every nigga feel that they just as important as you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you go on the right, whatever. Whether you go, it could be a nigga at the gas station just working there. And just working that nine to five, and he see you get on stage, he like, man, fuck that nigga, I got some shit going on too. <laughs> so now you have to prove to him why she, why he should listen to you. But that's just the way the city is. I love it though because you know you you kind of you know cut your teeth in, then you branch out. You know, so mm -hmm. that's what it is. That's, uh, that's true. So if anybody want to reach you, put you. What's the best way, man? Okay, you can find me on Twitter 
at J A Y underscore S T O N E Z. Facebook, J A Y space bar S T O N E Z. And you can Google me, J Stones, J A Y S T O N E Z. I ain't hard to find. I'm and on Instagram, sure. too. You, you be on Instagram like I be on Instagram. Oh, yeah. My Instagram <laughs> doing numbs. It's the same thing. J A Y straight across Stones, S T O N E Z. I be trying to find some take this yeah. up. Like, God damn, let me follow me. I, 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 I got the best. I got the best five star restaurants ever. Like you can get an A for game off my Instagram. Damn, damn, I gotta go eat that. <laughs> That's what's yeah. going on, man. And you got any shows coming up? Yeah, I got it back. I'm gonna be performing tonight. Oh, the oh yeah. Thing. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. So I'm everybody, go check out uh, J Stone. How much is it just to get in? It's a lot. If you catch me at the door, you can get in free. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. Now, where's the location again? I don't exactly know where Adriana's is located. I just always oh, end up there. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just yeah. always yeah. end up there. Yeah. 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 Get the Dixie the Highway. You don't run into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Well, what's anyway. up? well, thanks again for coming out, bro. I appreciate it. We're going to no take a quick break, take some pictures. Hey, man, what you looking at? We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back to more of the JJ. Stop! <laughs> brand new, 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 brand new. She say she like my car, cause it's brand new, brand new. She say she like the rims, cause they brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. I hate he loves songs, but I'm writing one for you. What's up? This your girl, Jamisha Trice, and I'm listening to The Jay Davis Show every Saturday from 2 to 4. Jay Davis, you nasty.